Hi, it's Sherry Veronica. When you talk about the transatlantic slave trade, you have to think about the fact that black people sold black people into slavery. It wasn't all white. When you think about the red stripe in Barbados, you have to think about people who did not get much of an education. They were bullies when they were born. From the time they were dropped out, they were bullies. They were bullies throughout schooling and they are not very smart. That is what make up the right stripe in Barbados. For Thomas to think that he is going to get any anything that is what you would call substantive, he's not going to get anything. He may get money if he sues for wrongful arrest or something like that, but nothing substantive is going to come out of this because there's no substance within the right stripe in Barbados. They will come and arrest you just on a whim, just on a whim. You could be raped and robbed and have someone like Mark Thompson. He was the president of the Rotary at that time, you could have someone, you could have someone at him rape you and rob you and run into the police department to say that you slapped him and they will come to arrest you. That's what they do. That's what they do. And especially if you are someone who they themselves don't like, because sometimes they think that you're too pushy and you're too aggressive and they don't like you and they want to, you know, set a sample out of you. They want, they want to embarrass you. That's what the right stripe in Barbados do. It's a gang. It's a gang of bullies. It's a gang of bullies. And every now and again, they touch the wrong person. Every now and again. They make a mistake. They do something to someone that is not quite settled with the way Barbadians do things. And they are highlighted. They're highlighted. But I want Thomas to know. I just want Bryant Thomas to know that nothing much is going to come out of what the right strike did to him in Barbados because that is who they are. That is who they are. Barbadians are accustomed to it. Everton Gittins is back on the force. Rapists and thieves back on the force. That is who you are. Brent Thomas needs to know this. He needs to know that this, this is what you expect when you go into Barbados. And if you overstay your welcome, this is what you can expect. You can expect that if you're a female and you are outspoken. You can expect that if you're a male and you are outspoken, especially against the establishment. You can expect something like that to happen. All someone has to do is say something or drop their phone next to you and say, oh, you stole the phone or whatever. It's, it doesn't take much because they, don't, they do not do investigations before they come to arrest you. They do not do investigations. Okay, so Brent Thomas talking about his abduction. I don't know what else to say. You you were in a country that understands what it is to be complacent and compliant. And the right stripe there are gangsters, bullies and gangsters. And you got what you got. You got what you got. Now, maybe, as I said before, you can get some money damages, but you cannot sway the, the systemic corruption. You cannot sway the systemic movement, that the, the way they move, the way they are. You cannot change it. It is there to stay. It is there to stay. I would advise Brent Thomas not to ever go to Barbados again. Share Veronica.